everyone, me again. Welcome back to Exa Media Rex. So today we're going to be answering the question of whether an app can stop you from getting pregnant. For those of you who are new, hi, my name is Amelia. We make all kinds of videos on this channel, but I also have a very big playlist full of videos like this talking about hormones, periods, uh, fertility, and body chats in general. So if you want to find out a little bit more about what's going on with your body, click subscribe, stick around for a while. We would love to have you. I have spoken really openly over the last couple of years on my channels, both on here and on Instagram about how I came off the pill after 10 whole years and how it has genuinely been the best decision I've ever made for my body going artificial hormone free. Now there are a handful of different hormone free contraception methods out there, one of which is the natural contraception, natural family planning, natural birth control method. This basically uses cycle tracking, aka finding out when you are in your fertile days and your non-fertile days and using that to time or avoid unprotected sex. And if you're doing the natural contraception method properly, it can be up to 99% effective. Now it's not like they told us in school where you just look at a penis and get pregnant. There are actually only a handful of days every single month when we can actually get pregnant. So as long as you're aware of that and you're avoiding those days and taking the proper precautions, you can use this method to completely avoid getting pregnant. Now there are a number of different period tracking apps that you can download for free on your phone that will give you an estimation of when your ovulation date is and when your fertile window is, which are the days where you can get pregnant. And I think the biggest mistake that some people make with this natural contraception method, the cycle tracking method, is that they rely solely on a period tracking app to tell them when those fertile days are. Now I'd just like to point out here that I'm not talking about the app called Natural Cycles. It's not something that I've used myself, but I know that it's a really, really popular one out there that uses the natural contraception method. This app differs, however, from a regular period tracking app because it does actually use BBT tracking, which is basal body temperature tracking, as a measure to find out when you are fertile and when you're not. And BBT tracking, along with other signs and symptoms that your body gives you to tell you that it's fertile is the way that you do the natural contraception method okay so that app actually does have some science behind it and some evidence-based um, information to properly predict those fertile and non-fertile days what i'm talking about here are apps like flow or clue for example that use an algorithm to guess <laughs> when your ovulation date is if you are going solely by that app's prediction of when you are fertile and when you're not fertile, that's a recipe for disaster. Because as standard, the only information that app is getting from you is when your period starts and when your period ends. And because everybody ovulates differently at different stages of their cycle, it genuinely is just a guess. To give you a little bit of an example, I use Flow and I have done for years to track my cycle. Personally, I really, really like it. It's a very easy interface to use. But when me and my husband started trying to conceive and I was properly tracking my ovulation with the signs and the symptoms from my body using cervical mucus and BBT tracking and also ovulation testing as well, I realized that my Flow app was between three and five days out every single month at guessing when my ovulation was. I even had one month where my ovulation was significantly later than the other months and my app was still trying to tell me that I'd already ovulated even though I'd been logging negative ovulation tests every single day. So the main thing I wanted to get across in this video is do not just solely use an app to guess when your fertile window is and when it's safe or not safe to be having unprotected sex. If you want to properly know where your fertile window is, you're going to need to be uh, tracking your cycle and also tracking your ovulation. I have two videos on both of those things if you want to find out more. It's actually really useful to do these things whether you're trying to get pregnant or not and um, just to make sure that everything's kind of working the way it should be or to highlight any hormone imbalances that might be going on that you maybe didn't realise before. Okay, so continue research. If this is something you're interested in, those two videos, I'll try and leave, remember to leave links down below, but I have a whole playlist with my hormone stuff in so you can easily find them. If you found this interesting or helpful in any way, click that thumbs up, leave a comment down below and also consider subscribing. We'd love to have you. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>